Welcome to the CA Unified Infrastructure Management Troubleshooting the AWS Probe Configuration video. In this video, I will create a profile in the Probe Configuration GUI and provide some basic troubleshooting tips for this process. The AWS Probe allows me to remotely monitor the health and performance of various services provided by Amazon Web Services Cloud Computing. In this scenario, I need to configure my instance of the AWS Probe to connect to an Amazon Web Services environment. This will allow me to configure and monitor the alarm data I want to view in Unified Service Manager. I will resolve this issue by creating a valid profile in the Probe Configuration GUI. A valid profile will be able to successfully connect to my Amazon Web Services environment and the profile will display notes that represent various components in that environment. I must add a profile to the probe before I can configure any alarms or monitors. Here is the Probe Configuration GUI that I opened from Admin Console. Be aware that depending on your Probe or Admin Console versions, you might see some differences in the Probe Configuration GUI. To create a profile, click Options, Add New Profile. This option opens the Add New Profile window. This window contains a field for a profile name and some default settings. I enter Example Profile as the name for my new profile. You can enter any name that is meaningful for your organization as long as it does not contain any spaces. I leave the check in the active checkbox because I want to activate the profile for monitoring. I am also not changing the default settings in the interval and alarm message fields. The interval setting determines the amount of time in seconds for the probe to collect data for the profile. 600 seconds is adequate for my needs. You can raise or lower this value to change the frequency of data collection, but be aware that shorter data collection intervals will increase the system load. I leave resource critical as the alarm message because this is the message I want to see in USM if connectivity is interrupted between the probe and my monitor resource. In this example, the resource is my Amazon Web Services environment. Notice that the fields for the access key and secret access key are highlighted. These fields contain default login information, but it's highly likely that this information is not correct to connect to your Amazon Web Services environment. As part of the probe prerequisites documented in the probe release notes, you should have obtained an Amazon Web Services user account with valid user credentials and EC2 administrative rights. The user credentials are the access key and the secret access key. I enter the access key information first, and then the secret access key. If you are sent two access keys and you are unsure which key is which, the secret access key always contains more characters than the access key. Click Submit. Then click Save. This is an important step because the probe will not retain your configuration changes if you close this interface. If you ever change the configuration of a probe and return at a later time and do not see your changes, you most likely forgot to click the Save button. You can see here that the configuration change is successful. Notice that the new profile is in a pending state. Sometimes it takes a few minutes for the probe to populate the profile with data. If the state ever changes to error, you should do the following. Click on the profile, then click Actions, Verify Credentials. If you cannot connect to your environment, you will see an error message. If you see this error, verify that your key information has the correct credentials and that your credentials are in a group with access to Amazon Web Services. Here you can see that my profile is complete and now contains data about my Amazon Web Services environment. I am collapsing the AWS Service Health node so that I can expand and show you the contents of my example profile node. Here are the contents of my profile. The probe is now in a state where I can configure monitors and alarms. For information about how to configure monitors and alarms in the AWS probe, click the Help button. The probe help describes all the available configuration options for a specific probe. For additional information about the AWS probe or probe release notes, refer to the documentation on the CA DocOps platform. Or visit the CA UAM community to join in the discussion. The links can be found in the YouTube description located below this video.